Hello and happy Sunday and welcome to this edition of the Racing Insiders podcast. Of course, I am Kate Dillon with Did Crate Insider. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm here today with Steve Hendren from Hendren Racing Engines. And we're here to... Uh, like every week. Yeah, we do this every every <laughs> Sunday. Uh, for anybody joining us or wanting to join us live that is listening or watching afterwards, you can catch us on the Crate Insider Facebook page on at Sundays at 4.30 Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, otherwise, this show gets cross-posted over to YouTube on the Crate Insider YouTube channel. Um, also ends up on the Racing Insiders podcast. So if you want to listen to the audio, you can just go to racinginsiderspodcast.com or you can find us in the Apple um, store, Apple oh, wow. store, uh, podcast store. Like got all the places covered. I do what I can. <laughs> I do what I can. Absolutely. So I see some folks are here. I see Scott's here. Says, um, hi, we're SNK now. SNK. We're not just Stephen K. We're SNK. Mm-hmm. Um, happy 2021. Craig's here saying good afternoon. And let's see, we've got Christopher here and he's back. So great. If you guys have any questions, um, then drop them in. And <laughs> yeah. 30 days in, 30 days in Facebook jail. Well, you must have said something that was like, you know, uh-huh. not approved by yeah, the whole I've, Facebook fact checkers or some shit. You know, I am glad that I have I have kind of issued a, I, I kind of have a culture of restraint <clears throat> with what I actually say publicly. It's it served me do well. You? I do. It served okay. me well. Yeah. Right. What did you think of last week? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see how restrained you are. I am really, really trying to be restrained. You know, I'm just going to say that I'm... So you don't want the Secret Service knocking you on your door? Um, I'm just going to say that I am super happy that violence is never the answer. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we will never be in a war again as the United States of America. That's true. Yeah, Yeah, because if violence isn't the answer, then we don't ever need to go to war again. So that part I'm I'm pretty happy about. And I will... um, uh, that it will be in a re- refrain that I will continue to be peaceful and, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I think you can all tell from my tone about how much I believe that, but whatever. Right. Um, Trevor says, hey, how are you guys doing? We're doing great. I'm doing great. Are you doing great? I'm doing great. Okay. Cameron says, happy, happy Sunday and super. We're super S&K now. Mm-hmm. Super S&K. And Dennis is here. Of course, we've we've had some fun with Dennis, and Andy's dad, mm-hmm. and Sean. Uh, redneck, redneck three sixteen racing is here. Hey, yeah. right on, right on. Uh, Christopher says, "Go Trump." Now we know why he was in Facebook jail. Uh, Although we could yeah. have probably figured that one out on our own. Right. And Rick says, "Hey there, buddy." Um, yeah, any guys, any questions you guys might have, feel free to drop them in, and um, you know, happy to happy to answer any questions that you have we have out there well you're going to be answering a bunch of questions next weekend yeah we got the whole uh, race logic deal yeah we're going to the race logic chassis which school. i still have no clue what the hell i'm going to say but i guess i'll just get up there and wing it well you know what i think would be really good which is usually better for me than like planning things out well what would be really good is to print out your 604 recommendations uh, it can be redundant so I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. It's not redundant. I can tell you by how many people download it from the website <laughs> that it's not a, you know, maybe you've said it a hundred times, but for someone out there, it may be the first time that they're hearing it. And it's a really good reference. It's a, it's a really good reference for people. Yeah. And, and knowing that it's going to well, not I'd always be the same. Probably start off by like talking about all the stuff that's legal now that wasn't legal. I don't know, like two months ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you want to clue me in on what's something that's legal now that wasn't yeah, legal well, before? Yeah, well, I mean, race bearings in 604s, oh, yeah, because they now a, come from the factory that way. Right, right. That's a good, then, uh, that's a good way to go. And then, uh, apparently now, uh, hardened keepers in 604, or 602s, what? is a thing. Oh. Can I get so, those from GM? How, how do I not know about these? Don't know yet. Uh, well, this I mean, must be brand spanking new, because I don't know anything about it. Don messaged me on Friday and said, hey, my whole batch of 602s i just got in have hard keepers in them okay from the factory so huh we'll see weird okay typical gm yeah uh yeah well did you see gm got a new logo <laughs> the pussification of gm <laughs> with their new logo yeah i saw that <laughs> yeah yeah I, I mean i can't say i'm a fan but i can understand if they're uh um yeah i can understand if 
if they're trying to appeal to a new market segment. Uh, it's some sort of segment. I don't. Is it the like the cucks of the society or? Yeah, uh, it that's is kind of what I'm. I thinking. think I wonder. I mean, I'm wondering if it's so. They they said they came out, but I, I haven't dug deep into this. I, I saw it in a marketing group that I'm in that basically yeah. makes fun of everybody and everything. Um, a little on the snarky end of things, but uh, uh, one <laughs> one person. <laughs> Yeah, it's called the Daily Carnage, by the way. So it's it's just it's more than than snarky. Yeah. But uh, uh, one thing that I saw was that it was it, that GM said that since they're really doubling down on the whole electric car thing, and so now that when I think about it, so the GM instead of being GM, it's G M in small, small, small G, little M. Yeah. yeah, and and so I wonder if it looks a little bit more like a plug-in. And if it looks more like a plug-in, that it's it kind of goes with know. like the electrical vehicle kind of thing. I think it looks like stupid, but that's me. Yeah. Oh, uh, David says, "Hey there, from Louisiana. Was wondering when your new Crate Insider hoodies will be on the site." That's such a great question. Um, I need to get a new reprint of. We went through so many shirts at the yeah. at the Cars Racing Show. I need to get another batch done. Of course, uh, the person well, who's doing. I was going to say, now, you know, you know the guy that does it. So I mean, you, well, you, can you get to the top of the list on that? Don't even. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I, yeah, he's so covered up right now with getting guys ready for Florida. That would be Jimmy Schultz over at Dirt Wrap. Of course, is my brother, and now he's doing T-shirts too. Yep. So. Um, pardon me for just a second. We're like super fuzzy. So I, I wonder if it's like my lens here. There we go. All right. So hopefully that that'll be clearer. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it could just be the whatever. It could be your eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have fuziness issues sometimes, but I still don't have to wear contacts. Right. All right. Trevor says, Hey, was Hendron Racing Engines doing any sponsorship? No, I don't mean a free engine. <laughs> um, no, honestly, uh, I don't. And the main reason is that I don't is because we really honestly do a lot of high end guys. And if I'm giving them free stuff, then that means the little guys paying for it. And so, no, I don't. Everybody, everybody honestly gets the same price. Yep. That's just kind of how I work. I mean, I'm not into the whole, I, I just, I, I don't do like some, like chassis manufacturers where they're giving big name guys free stuff and then the little guy pays for it on the back end. So I just, I don't do that. Well, you know, I got a question over the weekend where somebody asked me if I had a military discount and I don't. And uh, my answer to that is the fact that I try to keep my prices as low as possible and I try to be fair to everybody. Well, I mean, honestly, if you start giving a military discount, then you got to give a discount for, you know, a guy in a wheelchair and then you got to give a discount for a guy, you know, who's not a guy or claims to be a woman or, I mean, there's all sorts of discounts out there that mm-hmm. are, that are that it, it can get pretty, pretty, uh, it can snowball effect pretty quick. Well, I mean, I do do some stuff with, uh, my super loyal customers. I will do some of that sometimes. Well, I mean, and part of my deal too, with the, with the, with the, you know, essentially no sponsorship deal is uh, that means I treat everybody the same. So, you know, <laughs> you're not going to get, if you're Jonathan Davenport, you're getting the same shit that, you know, Joe Blow out of Iowa gets for instance, or something like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Sean says, how much is the 602 motors? Um, I think on my website, they're like 4101052 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you but have to, we have to advertise by map pricing, so it's probably minimum not Minimum advertised we, price. Minimum advertised price, because that's a whole GM deal right now. So nobody can advertise below that, but what I can tell you is if you call, a f- you know, a few certain dealers, you'll, you'll pay less than that. Uh, Bobby says there's snow in East Texas. Oh, wow. That's a surprise. We don't. We got snow on. Uh, was it Thursday? Friday? Friday? It was like Friday. A, Friday. I'd call it a skift. <laughs> I mean, there was no. <laughs> it wasn't snow. Snow. Although I did bust my ass in the snow. Well, yeah. We don't always get snow. We get ice. We get. Um, it looks like snow for about five minutes. Turns into water. Freezes overnight. And it and it's ice. And it's like <laughs> an icy shithole. That's what you get in North Carolina, but not too bad. Um, all right. I guess we had so about an inch. Christopher says, "How do you think the Biden administration is going to affect the racing industry?" Um, I here's my thought: is that it's in our best interest to race every single race as if it's our last. Because it very well could be. I, I think this is uh, what I'm most, uh, you know, I'm less, I'm less concerned about this or less mad, 
trying to not swear and trying to not get too off the rails here. You but can swear. This is our show. It so. is our show. Um, I am less pissed about the Biden administration because they showed us exactly who they are. What I'm pissed about is do nothing McConnell not putting the RPM Act out onto the floor for a vote. Mm -hmm. The RPM Act would have saved racing, would have ensured that racing could continue even with other legislation out there. That's what that would have done. But couldn't do a damn thing other than to get some judges through that turned out to be absolutely freaking worthless. So... Um, I'm not happy with any administration right now, and um, that's what I was really going to try, but I'm, I'm, it didn't violate any policies yet, so there's that. <laughs> I don't know. So what are your thoughts? I, I, think, I think we really have a lot to worry about, and um, um, yeah, I mean, we got, I don't my, know. My thoughts are if the wacky-ass Green New Deal bullshit mm -hmm. kind of starts going through... Then we're going to see some weird ass restrictions in racing. Um, I mean, can you imagine, like, what is it? Uh, you know, you got to take your race car to the local gas station to get the uh, emissions checked before you go race or something like that. I can see that coming in the future. Yeah. I, I think, regardless, I think it's going to be ugly. I, I think um, when we see the writing on the wall, it's going to be to time to find the next. Because we'll, we'll, there will always be racing. Well, I don't care if it's like rubber balls going down a hill, as you no. and I have watched before. There will be some type of racing out there, but will it be the racing that well, and what's, is our lifestyle? I, 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 I think we do have a lot to. What's going to happen is now that these assholes have control of the presidency and the and the House and the uh, Senate then they're just going to run rickshaw for the next two years. Mm -hmm. Unless they start arguing amongst, them, amongst themselves, which they may do. Because mm -hmm. that's what they did when Obama had all three chambers. <laughs> well, yeah. Now you mean you got the progressives against the progressives against the Democrats Correct. because the Republicans are, are completely irrelevant and will probably not win another election in my lifetime. They're probably not. <laughs> so there's, there's that. Uh, let's see. Most we can hope for is Trump starts a third party. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I I think uh, that it wouldn't matter. I mean, like like our votes matter, so it doesn't yeah, really matter. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sean says, I'd like to know how much horsepower is the new 602 is going to have. Probably the same as what the 602s had yeah. last year and the year Correct. before. And the, yeah. the, the thing about the 602s or the 604s, I mean, I didn't get a either, either chance either to talk with Bill Martins this year because there was no PRI. Um, and I might have to reach out to Bill and see if we can do like a Zoom interview or something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's something I look forward to every year is to talk to Bill Martins from GM and uh, or Chevrolet Performance, you know, whichever we want to call it. Same same deal. But, uh, um, you know, that, that that's... You, you, you won't see an impact... Uh, horsepower increase on the 602s until they get the exhaust ports right side up rather than upside down again. Right. Then then we'll probably see that, if that ever happens. Well, what they really do strive for is to make them the, be consistent so that if you've got a 2019 602 versus a 2020 602 versus a 2021 602, that they're all going to be in line and, Within and maintain a range, that. Yeah. yeah, of course, of course. Uh, let's see, what what race will be your first one to drive in this year? Of course, I don't race, so um, so you. Me? I don't I mean, know. You, I don't, I don't, I don't know. thinking about a modified, I mean, I mean, maybe? Nah, well, I was thinking about getting a mod, but I'm still waiting on two race cars to sell because some dude was like supposed to buy them, but you know how that goes, so I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Let's see. Um, Scott says, audio failing badly. Catch you up on YouTube later. Gosh, I'm so sorry about that, Scott. Sorry about that. Mm. And... Cameron says, well said, Steve. I completely understand about the sponsorship. Thank you for the honesty. That's good. Terry says, what's up, guys and gals? And uh, let's see. Trevor says, what's the best way to send a sponsorship request, social media or email? Phone call. The answer is phone call. Then you follow up with, uh, don't do it on social media. Uh, no, just it's don't. Tack it's tacky. It's tacky and will be completely lost. Um, I say phone call. I mean, and, and truthfully, if you... Don't reach out to companies you haven't done any business with. Why should they? Why should they sponsor you? Why? Why yeah. should they? Especially in within the industry, um, I get pretty irritated about that. Pick up the phone. Um, I would say pick up the pick phone. Up, pick up the phone and, and utilize their services. And then follow up. With. Follow up with <laughs> an email. Follow yeah. yeah, follow up with an email. I mean, some people use email effectively, but I find that most of the emails that I see are poorly written and they sound like a charity 
uh, charity requests. You should see the numbers of lots of manufacturers send me screenshots of the junk they absolute the absolute junk that they receive. And and again, we've spoke about on this topic before. What a lot of people don't realize is we all talk some talk among, amongst each other. Mm-hmm. So yes, we do. <laughs> I don't care if it's FK rod ends, Hendron racing engines, or or you know Joe's freaking rivet supply company. We all know each other and we all talk to each other. Yeah. So it honestly becomes a. I hate to, I hate to say this because it sounds discouraging, but it's a lot of it's kind of a joke on what you get for you know requests and stuff like that. Well, what I'd like to see is I'd like to see some mm-hmm. racers decide to step up and actually do some marketing. And you do that, you're going to attract people to you with, uh, wow, gosh, this racer's out there really promoting this stuff. Man, either the guys that I sponsor should get off their off their tails and do something. Right. Or I might need to, you know, go towards this guy. So that, I would definitely say that's a big deal. Um, uh, Dennis says, go, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, Terry says, it's a long ways from over. It's not over. Well, yeah, you know, I don't we'll know. See. You know what? I'm about tuned out. So I'm from pretty much tunes out of the whole thing, I guess. I'm just going to stay in my lane, do my thing, and I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it all. Well, so Go back into Obama days, hide money mode, essentially is what it comes down to. Shut Wait, up. Shut my up. gosh. I gave it away. Oh, no. Was that a was that violent act of me to tell you to shut up? Yeah, it was. Was that, was yeah, that violent? Yeah, okay. don't, don't, don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew says, what's the best fuel in a 604? Uh, it just depends on what you're allowed to race with fuel wise. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, what are your rules? Honestly, uh, what the rules determine what the best fuel is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Brian says, the I group- mean, that being said, I mean, first choice is always methanol. Second choice is going to be either a CHP or a, uh, or a, you know, E85 of some sort. Which X85 tends to be your go-to of it's my go-to because it's so consistent i mean vp does an excellent job of making consistent fuel yeah yeah uh let's see brian says the green new deal is not good for business Uh, agreed with that uh cameron says um when i was in the hospital earlier this week my doctor asked me how was it you can be so positive when you're not feeling all that good and i said listen to kate and steve on sunday afternoon (laughs) great insider or counseling session and it helps me to become a better person and happy about life so thank you so much for what you do kate and steve you're part of the family forever um wow that's really um exciting i see and and he's doing well so it's great uh, let's see. Tim says you're going to see big changes in carding if imports, small engine imports, are stopped, and the Democrats are proposing. That is going to create a ladder effect from the bottom up. Well, you're going to see a lot of that. And, you know, the whole, you know, them having control of the three branches, branches of or, government. Or, it's not really three branches, but it's, well, the, it's whatever, the entire it's Congress. It's executive. It's a, well, you, you know, know, there's the do-nothing yeah. Supreme Court, but right. then we've got the executive and the legislative right, branch. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, the, so the three major branches of government, you're going to see that not only with, uh, you know, engine-related stuff. You're going to see it with uh, guns. I mean, guns is going to be the biggest deal. Yeah. Because they're going to they're gonna run rickshaw over the, over the whole gun industry. Oh, yeah. They're going to, all it's going to take is one asshole to, with an AR-15 to go shoot, you know, three people. And it's going to be a big ban. It's going to be all sorts of crazy shit. And even if they can't get that through Congress, they'll let the ATF go, go do it. I agree. Now that is because the ATF goes unchecked. <laughs> um, it is curious though that you mentioned about the import piece of it because I think we're going to see a lot uh, friendlier import. I think the trade tariffs and the restrictions are going to be gone. Uh, but is it, are, are you saying, Tim, that it's uh, really directed at the small engines or is it directed at imports? Because I would be interested in what you're seeing, what you're seeing out there. Um, I, I think imports are going to be, you know, hey, let's just go open up the floodgates and just let everything and everybody in. Well, um, all, and the, jo- all the jobs are going to go back to China and Mexico and everything else. So that's what we're looking at. Oh, I agree. I agree. I agree. And it's, it's, it seems so foreign to all of us here in this industry because... There are very few things that are produced overseas. Um, when I when I look at the whole list of things, you know, there's there's some uh, you know a lot of the all star parts, which are small parts, are are made in China. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think they are. That's what I hear anyway. I don't really know. Um, a lot of the electronics, Could be of course. For all we know. Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of the electronics. I mean, there are very very few electronics that are made in the United States. 
those those all tend to be overseas. Mm-hmm. And other than that, like ste- well, steering wheels from Italy, that's that doesn't beca- bother that's me. That's because they have legalized slave labor in China. Yeah. Well, I was, <laughs> so, you know, I've just so everybody is against, <laughs> you know, taking advantage of people who still buy shit that is made in China. It's made by a bunch of freaking slaves. It, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. So. No. I completely agree with you yeah. there. Yeah. So so I just don't know what we call ourselves like a, a couple of weeks from now. Are we the divided states of Chimerica? Is that is that where we are? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, you pretty much got a dead split down the middle. And all I can say is, you know, everybody that doesn't believe that the elections were real, then, uh, you know, resist. Yeah. I mean, I... I I think the thing is that it's doubt, you know? It's like a, like a cheating spouse. The thing that's going to piss me off is when they lock everybody back down again. Well, that's coming. Which is, it's coming. Because as soon as dipshit gets, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. If he comes out of his basement for the inauguration, then, you know, we're all completely screwed. I don't know. I guess we'll just find out. So I'm just, I guess, uh, getting my popcorn. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Honestly, I was like super tuned into so much of this at certain periods of time, but now um, I, I I just I have a I have businesses to run and I got shit to do. So yeah. I'm just not gonna like get you know I can only do I guess it's Serenity Prayer is you know, like <laughs> handle the the things that you can you know. Oh, they're gonna do. be like Serenity now, Serenity now. No, I mean finally, <laughs> like like for the first time in my life, I'm gonna say the alcoholics got it right. You know, God <laughs> give me the courage to accept the things like what's the things I cannot change and the the yeah. change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. You know, so right. that's I guess that's the motto of today. The alcoholics yeah, had it right. <laughs> probably right. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Pat says, "Hey guys, did Steve save you a cookie, Kate?" No, I didn't get the cookies because the cookies did not show up on time. Pat sent twenty-four or two dozen cookies to Don Ramones to share with everybody, oh. and I waited until four o'clock before I left, and the cookies did not arrive. Mm. Either that, or those Mexicans lied to me, and they did arrive, and they ate them all themselves. I have no idea which could have happened. All right, so as Cameron says, I wonder what they're drinking today. Of course, this is if you're new to the show, we typically. We're here many times um, drinking uh, went, um, adult yeah, beverages. I went that way today. And, um, and so today, Steve is drinking Natural Light. I am currently drinking a Diet Coke, although I'm, I'm eyeing the Barsenal. Yeah, you got the Barsenal over there. I do. I do have the Barsenal. The Barsenal finally has, has new cabinetry. And so you got more liquor than the freaking ABC store down the road. <laughs> I do. I do. Should we show the audience? <laughs> do you guys want to see the Barsenal? Yeah, okay, yeah, right, they, they want to see the Barsenal, I'm sure they do, so I'll open that up, and you'll be able to see the Barsenal. That's the Barsenal, so I really wasn't kidding, like, how much a ridiculous amount of alcohol that I have. And is that, not, is that even all of it? I don't think that's all of it. It's not, because the moonshine wouldn't fit, and so I need another cabinet. Right. So, yeah, that's not actually all of it, but... It's close, so <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> so that's the that's why we call it the Bat Barsenal. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, Brian's here, and he says, "Kate, you guys ready for Race Logic Chassis School this coming Damn weekend?" Right, VB yeah, tastes better. We, we are. We are. <laughs> we are really excited about that. VB tastes better. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But I, can I can't get, get any F and VB. So. Well, I, I've, I've found it. I forgot to All order it. All these Aussie friends and nobody sent me a freaking care package. Well, I can order it in the United States. I got you cigars last week. That'll be like week. the first time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. And while wow, Steve in the natural light, Steve had bad week at the shop. Okay. I had a busy week at the shop. Yeah. Um, Tim says, oh, so this will be good. Tim says, small engine imports will be restricted to higher emission standards than currently enforced by U.S. laws. It has become more economical for manufacturers to produce battery-powered equipment than manufacture gas-powered equipment. Mm -hmm. The stated emissions laws on the table will shelf all engines currently offered under 420 um, cc's. All engines imported under 420 cc's will have to be zero emissions by (laughs) 2023. Yeah. Yeah, so that's wow. pretty Wow. Unfortunately, we have no small engine manufacturers in the United States. Even Briggs is made in China now. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, Man. so that's screwed up. 
That is. That is, and, it's, and there's not a great incentive to, to make them back here in the United States because it could be taken away at any well, time. Well, no, not when you can make them with slave labor either. Well, yeah. Again. Yeah. Wow. Wow, I don't yeah. even know what to say. Yeah. That's... Doesn't surprise me, though. No, I'm not surprised at all. But, man, I, I don't know. Well, it's I mean... just like a little bit of the fallout of what this all these assholes are going to be doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, so Nick has a question. He says, Valve Springs, I understand it's a big deal with crates. It is a big deal. Yeah. Ish. Ish. Yeah. 604. It's, it's not six, the difference between first and ten. No, but, six, 604 is not so much. 602 is a little bit more important. But from what I can see, I think GM has changed spring manufacturers again with 602s because, as you know, uh, we rate your springs for you for Crate Insider mm-hmm. that you ship out, the, the match sets. And what's been coming through has been just excellent valve springs. Really? 100%. Good. So, like, very, that is very. not very, the answer I was expecting to hear. Very little variance, <laughs> very little, I mean, not much craziness with the springs right now. Well, because I'll tell you, you know, I, I didn't. So, I think I, they changed spring manufacturers. Well, that's good. Because I will say the reason I sell matched valve springs is at first when I, when I had customers who were asking for them, I was really afraid it was like voodoo magic, smoke and mirrors, definitely didn't want to take advantage of anybody. So I resisted and I really didn't start doing it until I got like a dozen boxes of springs and I would open one box at a time and rate all the springs and then open up the next box. And some boxes would be all pretty, pretty close within just a Mm -hmm. few pounds of each other, but some I'd rate one spring and the next spring would be 10 pounds difference. I mean, there was quite a different bit of variance there. So I'm really glad to hear that there's more consistency. Well, there's quite a bit of variance, but, you know, a lot of times, I mean, if they're actually done correctly, Mm -hmm. uh, they all equal out. Yeah. I mean, I wrote an article on that, which is on my, if you're friends with me, it's on my Facebook page. Yeah. Or did I put that? Yeah, I might have put that on the Hendren page. You might have. Yeah, I think think it's on the the engine website or on the engine uh, uh, business Facebook page. Yeah. But I wrote a whole article on it because there's like this crappy crate company out there like trying to sell people like $290 valve springs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and it's not made a difference. Um, so Tim makes a good point. He says, so if we lose carding, entry level will be Bandolero and Legends. Mm-hmm. Who can afford a $7,500 at Bandolero and $15,000 $15, Legends car? Where will people start? Yeah. That will affect the growth ladder to modifieds, late models, etc. You're absolutely right. Well, um, how, the, how are they dealing with it in Europe? Because, you know, most of the F1 drivers start off in, in karting. Well, yeah, so I'd be, they curi- starting... I'd be curious to see how the karting deal gets handled in Europe because they're much more strict than we are on uh, the emissions side of things and everything else. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be a, it's a great, great question. I mean, ask. are we going to be more strict than they are? That's my question. It's hard to say. Yeah. I don't know. That's a, it's a really good question and something to look into mm-hmm. unless they're doing something totally different. And I wonder if... Uh, you know, I wonder if that means it's a. Well, they're probably getting all of their stuff from China too. I was I was curious because oh, I'm sure, there yeah. there might be some manufacturing that's happening like in Italy or you know you've got the car manufacturers well, that are there. True. You've got Italy. Well, you've we got, got Germany. Car manufacturers here too, but if we're not manufacturing small engines, then right. You know. Yeah, it's 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 interesting. Um, Cameron says for Kate and Steve, if each of you wanted a wish you made to come true, what would it be? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I I don't I'm not I'm less of a wisher. Wish I wish just, in one hand, shit in the other. See which one gets filled first. Yeah. So I, I I don't know. Yeah. Chris asks, why aren't you two at the ice bowl? Why are we not at the ice bowl? I don't uh, really go to a lot of races, to be honest with you. I go to some of the bigger ones, but uh, this is my busiest time of year, and I will be going to the Race Logic Chassis Schools for the next two weekends, and then also a weekend in in Nebraska in February. So. Right. I got a lot of travel coming up, which I'm super excited about. I actually haven't gone anywhere for so long. <sighs> yeah. 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 Um, I'm not there just because I've, I don't have time to be there. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, we neither of us typically go to a lot, a lot of races. There's a few big ones that we go to. We always go to the Charlotte races. But, yeah, we go to uh, yeah. a few big ones a year, but I mean, other than outside of like going to watch my kid race or something like that. But. Yeah. And I'm planning on going to, to Bristol. I got to make those plans here. I'm not going there. Well, that's fine. I mean, you do you. 
All right, Mikey says, on my new 602 with the factory valve springs, is it a, an advantage to replace the new springs for a match set, or should I just run the factory set, then upgrade later? Run the factory set and upgrade later. Yeah, that's you'll good. Be just, you'll be just fine with what's on there, honestly. Mm-hmm. And like I said, people people play way too much into this whole valve spring thing. I mean, it's more it's more about how often you change them rather than you know what they are when you put them on. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> Cameron agrees, and he said it was kind of a trick question about <laughs> asking us what we wished for. Yeah. Yeah, although, you know, I had a fortune in a fortune cookie today, because there was a fortune cookie here. And it what said, um, I, I have to look really quick. It was good, though. Did you actually screen? You actually took a picture of it? I took a picture and put it on Instagram. It must have been important. Then. It was important. It said, your present plans are going to succeed within the year. According to some Chinaman. <laughs> <laughs> If it was made in China, then it has to be true. It has to be true, yeah. <laughs> At least you can post it on Facebook and it won't get deleted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah. I actually have a couple um, videos that I put out this week on yeah. my own other channels. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'll have to put it on my other Facebook. Uh, let's see. Roy says, a race logic is fun for stock rocker. And here's a question, I guess. For stock rockers with 716-inch studs, are the Elgin Black Ice a good choice? Honestly, I don't know. I've got no experience with them. Okay. So I, I, I hate, you know, I can, anything with Elgin on it, uh, I don't trust. I can tell you that from years ago, but it's nothing that I've used ever. Um, Roger says, uh, local 602 rules, MSD, 6AN, 6ALN, or HEI with softbox, all with 6300 limit chip. What do you suggest? Uh, either the MSD, 6AN, or 6ALN, either one. HEI does not belong in a race car. Yep. Um, also, the fast, six, um, was, okay, then, um, I have, of course, I've got the fast things, too, but this is very specific in those rules. Yeah. Um, and Mikey says, back to working on the race car. Have a great week. Yeah, Mikey just did a big remodel on his shop or kind of like a basically what I've been doing with my living room here. So, yeah. you know, with a, a big like, hey, you know, reorganize everything. I think it's good to reorganize. I don't wait till spring. I usually do, you know, first of the right. year. Put Christmas away and then rearrange the furniture. Yeah, that's what I like to do. There you go. Yeah, so you got another busy week coming up this week, Steve, I suppose? There's no such thing as not a busy week right now. So, yeah, yeah I got to, like, I put together, I mean, just me, myself. I mean, I, I think it was, like, six or seven engines in five days last week, so. Wow, you exceeded your your quota of trying to get five a week out. Yeah, but that didn't even put a dent in what we got in there, so. We're, we're working as fast as we can. Bear with us. Yeah, 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 you are. Yeah, you are. So any more questions, feel free to drop them in and uh, happy happy to answer them. My goodness, today the time is just going by quickly. What time is it? It's like 5.04, so oh, like sure. we're 35 minutes in. Yeah. So well, you, did you, you can... have any thoughts on this week or, or what's coming in, in our future? I have spat off. Oh, no, I've got me. thoughts, but like I said, the damn... Secret Service is going to show up on your door if I start spouting off my thoughts. Because <laughs> I think they should have burned the whole damn place to the ground the other day. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's it, okay. You went off the rails. <laughs> yeah. You, you can only say that not publicly. <laughs> exactly. So that's, I, that's why I'm not going to speak on it. Yeah. So so <laughs> hypothetically. Should have been senators and congressmen hanging in the, by light poles. Wow. The stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> my opinion. Stop. Well, hey, violence is never the answer. And a vice president should have a damn stick shoved up his ass. I'll put it that way. Gosh, um, I am, I, I am, I am really sorry that I asked those questions. I'm going to get another beer and put my shit in the dryer. Oh, okay, great. Oh, he thinks I'm a jabberer. So, yeah. Anyway, I did have a couple of uh, videos this week as well, and one of them was talking about. You know, we've had some sponsorship questions today. And so I have a video that is up on my winning motorsports marketing channel where I'm talking about some of the biggest, the biggest mistake that I see on social media. And I kind of directed at racers, racers or business people. And so you can check out that video over there. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I really want to see here what, what, 
what Tim says, something I've been looking into and trying to learn. I do know that most of kart racing in Europe is two stroke starting in kids kart. And, um, he, you also agree with Steve to burn it to the ground. <laughs> Cameron says this is the best show ever. Um, <laughs> Chris says, I agree with Steve. Facebook flagged me for posting that. Yeah, that's why I'm just, I, uh, Hey guys, I'm just trying to maintain the allowed to have my accounts and understanding that this is not my platform and the only platform that I have any ownership in is actually the websites that I that I run. So I'm just trying to be careful. I'm sure as you can all appreciate on that. Um, but yeah, Tim, I'll, I'll be interested in hearing what you what you find with the you, you mentioned the two stroke um It'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. And so I'll tell Steve. Steve, yeah, there you go. Sean says, I, I would like you to have um, to build me a new 602 for my son, Smod. So you what? I'm sorry? You, you have, uh, uh, Sean wants you to build a new 602 for his son's modified. Yep, yeah, no problem. He just, says, no problem. Just, it's like, not. It's like about nine weeks right now. It's about, he's about a nine week wait right now is where we're, where we're at. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to not be in Facebook jail so that we can continue to show up on our show. But um, Why would we be in Facebook jail? For the things that you're saying and that everybody agrees with, but that, you know, you can't really say. Oh, yeah. Those yeah, things. those things. <sighs> yeah. Those things. You know, because it's not America and we're not free to speak our minds. Yeah. Well, we're not. Not here. <laughs> um, what do you think about the parlor thing? You never really got a parlor account, did you? No, nah, I just think it's stupid. So, No. Okay. See, I, I, I don't know. I mean, this this will be controversial. While I am very right leaning in a lot of my thought process and business wise and everything else, I don't go into the whole religion thing. So, like, when it gets like the parlor thing, from what I've seen, is like all these wacky religious things. It's like watching Newsmax. Everything on Newsmax is like, you know. Oh, this, this, and this religion-wise. I'm like, I just want to have anything to do with it, honestly. Yeah. Gotcha. So, sorry. That that might offend some people, but oh well. (laughs) Yeah. Chris says, I've been black flagged on on my Facebook twice in the last week. (laughs) (laughs) Tim says, I will be educating myself. But um, Tim took a look at what's going on in Europe while you were Mm -hmm. gone here. Yeah. And um, most of their kart racing in Europe is Um, Mm two-stroke, starting with the kids' karts. So that, that'll mm-hmm. be interesting to see. Um, obviously, we support anything that is, you know, going to... Uh, carts are such an important... Which I would assume is going to be more emissions racing. than a four-stroke. I don't I know. I mean, I, I would think. I, I mean, I don't know, but... I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Bobby says, we broke a, a CT last month. Cam stuck in block. Cam bolts broke. And burnt rod... Bags on one journal, lots of carnage in the pan, 6 to 15 on back of bearings. Mm, that's not good. That sucks. I don't I don't know what all those things are, but... Um, I it, assume he's CT meaning 525, but... Oh, okay. Gotcha. CT 525. Then that makes a whole lot more sense. Campbell's broke does not surprise me. Um, <laughs> the Campbell's are using, a, I can guarantee, are not like grade 8. They're grade nothing, essentially. Mm. Yeah. Tell us about the grades again, because so there's grade five and there's grade eight. Those tend to be the bolts that we buy. And which ones are the better ones? Well, I mean, grade eight as far as uh, pull strength, okay. but not shear strength. So grade six for shear, but not pull. Oh, okay. If that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, not really. Um that's why we that's why we use a grade six on like a like a lower control arm or an upper control arm, but we use a grade eight on a head bolt. Okay, so because it has to keep it 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 it's stronger this way. Yeah, the grade eight than it is shear wise. So, so when you say shear, opposite. like break in half, right? Yeah, correct. Oh, okay. So you know, right? Just <laughs> I understand that the word is shear, but I think of like shearing, like slicing. Yeah. So so yeah, okay, that makes sense. You don't want it to pull. It can pull apart, or it can it can break. All right, Correct. make some more bending. If we're just talking on standard bolt, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm mean, just talking about grade of bolts. It just <laughs> it's it's one of those random things that we can learn on the show today. And yeah, I guess I don't know. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, we learn what we can. Um, keep dropping in those questions. And I know, I don't grade, think grade, grade five, or grade five, grade six, whatever. It's yeah, I just thought it was grade five and grade eight. Yeah. Because, like, you'll send me to the store to get bolts and you're going to be you like. You said six and you're like stuck in my head. No, I said five. Oh. We can even, you know, I, I'm recording on so many places so right now that we can actually say, rewind it right. and find out that I said five. I like, you. five and okay. eight. But, right. but whichever. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> same thing. We always hate to hear when somebody blows a motor. We don't want to do that. No. No, not We want to preserve them. No, they're they're pretty bulletproof, but yeah, I mean it's like, I but mean, it happens. They're made to be broken, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, Van says with a lot of six hundred four engines coming available locally and to use in non spec classes, are they worth rebuilding with better parts to increase performance power? Um, That's a really good question. It it, it depends on uh, the application. I mean, with better parts, I mean, there's no such thing if it has to be GM legal. Right. So we're using 100% GM parts. Um, if it's something where it doesn't have to be sealed and you're allowed to use, you know, a different piston or a different rod or something like that, then yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And they're definitely worth rebuilding, even with the, the parts. I mean, you do it Correct. all day, yeah. every I mean, we day. Do, we do it all yeah. the time. Yeah. Um, Tim says, I think the American people were asleep at the wheel. Um, amen. Uh, this is not a religious show, but <laughs> I will absolutely agree with you there. Or a woman. Oh, according to no, uh, <laughs> hard, hard according no. to the congressional, hard no on that one. Hard no <laughs> on that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever. That just tells me that that idiot had no idea that "amen" has nothing to do with men and women. Right. It is a Latin phrase. Correct. No, yeah. no, well, hard no yeah. on that one. Well, All cons- right. consider the source there. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Um, but anyway, we're going to keep on going. Um, I think the American people were asleep at the wheel and we freely gave our rights to social media private enterprise. We did it because we enjoyed what social media offered as they grew. Unfortunately, we have allowed these companies to become censors and control what free speech is. Um, Tim, I agree with you 150,000% actually. Yeah. And the really sad part is, uh, like I was talking to Tori, um, awesome assistant Tori this week. And, you know, Tori's... I'll, I'll let you get by with that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Tori's much, much younger. I mean, Tori's almost 20 years younger than I am. So we're of entirely different generations. And so for me, free speech... You know, I, I learned to type on a typewriter. I mean, computers were invented in my lifetime. Or computers were mainstream, you know, in American homes in my lifetime. But a lot of these kids that are growing up, and, and even into their early 30s, the millennials... Like, she's, she actually sat and told me that, um, well, I don't think I've ever really had free speech. I mean, we've, we've always been speech re- restricted. And it's like, it blows my mind. Mm-hmm. It blows, it absolutely blows my mind. And we do have a younger generation that just sees that, well, you know, yeah, you can't say that. Well, we always could. <clears throat> like, I would defend your right to say something stupid. That would defend the right that you could say it. Well, one, one thing that I look at is, I mean... Even the most heinous speech should be free for everyone to listen to. Because then we can pick out who the assholes are. Yeah. Right now, we can't pick out who the assholes are because they're getting censored. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you got somebody running around saying a bunch of racist shit, you know what? Pretty much everybody's going to say, you're an asshole. Um, but if they can't say it, we don't know who that asshole is. Yeah. So, and, you know, so... That's how it's I like a it, it's a it's a dangerous slippery slope, and uh, yeah. So I mean, I don't I don't see what the alternative is on this right now. Um, just going to try to stay in his <sighs> good graces, and yeah. And I think anyone who who knows me, I think, has a pretty darn good idea of where I'm at on on all of the pieces, mm-hmm. and you know, I'm just trying to not be. Um, I have too many social media accounts, and my business is tied up into it, so. Um, I, I just can't, I can't right. take the chance. You can't, you can't say anything like live on air, like, you know, the election results are completely fake or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I can't say anything like yeah, that. that's what I thought. Yeah. You're going to get... I, and I wouldn't want you to. You're going to get Crate Insider shut down. Yeah. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate. You know, I, well, I mean, I just, I think that, you know, the, the actions this week show that n- no one is, uh... No one's safe. I mean, if, if you can take down the president's account, 
that <laughs> and, tells and, and I and the Ayatollah of Iran, Ayatollahs in Iran still have a Twitter account. Yeah, Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, banned so. permanently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that that. I think the law of unintended conse- consequences tells me it'll bite him in the ass one day. Yeah, every bit of this, but I think it's just a matter of how much time, how much time, and what. How well, here's 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 what I hope. I hope Trump goes out there and forms his own social media company, and I hope he takes over every damn thing, and I hope he goes out there and forms his own news organization and takes over everything. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I think it goes to show, though, um, really depends on who can you trust. And even if he was, you know, he's one person. Um, and I, I think I think the really the, the big lesson here is that is it better to have a team or is it better to go it alone? And... Even though he had a team, you know, with his family and, you know, some tight people. Oh, he still got ate by the swamp, so. Yeah. He tried to drain, drain it, and it drained him, basically, is what happened. And, and, and having the... It just shows you how deep that runs there. Oh, so deep. All so the way deep. down to the fucking vice president. Yeah. <laughs> well. Of course, uh, he was a useless piece of shit to start with. He just needed him because of the religi- religi- super religious right, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, let's see. Cameron says, if, is there any Hendron Motors at the Ice Bowl this weekend? Um, I'm sure Message Matt Henderson. Yeah, well, Matt Henderson has a Hendron engine. Yeah, uh, Matt's running Supers, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm sure there is. I, I haven't I honestly looked at any of the Ice Bowl stuff. Because um, me, yeah. personally, I think it's ridiculous to be racing in January, but that's just me. You do you. Um, Jeff says, love y'all, Kate and Steve. Yay. But I bet he likes me more. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm I kidding. hope so. We just like to compete. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> um, Steve says, oh, it looks like I missed it again. See y'all on YouTube. That's cool. And um, let's see. Bobby says, what do you think of the new CT- CT525 bumped RPM to 7500 in USRA mods is going to do to us? Blow up a lot of CT525. <laughs> Because you, you recommend, uh, what, 72? 73. 73? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think you're going to start having, seeing top-end failures at that point. Yeah. Jeremiah says, hey, Kate and Steve, just joining. But um, How do you think the banning of certain accounts on most of the social media platforms is going to affect the draw of sponsors to those race teams who utilize many of those platforms? Do you think businesses will be less likely to provide sponsorship as a result? That's a really good question. Um, I think, I, I don't think that, that, here's the hard part, okay. I can totally disagree with the fact of, of what's happening out there on, on banning certain accounts. Um, I can completely disagree with that, but at, on this show, I'm going to still maintain a, non, uh, a non-offensive position because my business depends on being on social media. I mean, not really. I do have a website and organic search and stuff. But yeah. it, social media is a, is a very important way for me to communicate. So as a business, I'm playing it safe. And so as a person, so that I can maintain my businesses. I don't think that until there's a... The problem is there's not another alternative. That That's it. I mean, we've already killed newspapers. Magazines, uh um, All you're describing is a monopoly. So, well, so. it is. <laughs> so th- this is still we, the only game in town. Yeah, it, it really, really is. That's a monopoly so, that needs to be broken up. Well, I'm not going to disagree with you there, especially when they're all colluding. Correct. Yeah, but you know that's not going to happen. No. So, but yeah. how, how it affects racers and stuff and. What, what was that uh, sponsorship? Well, you know, do, do we think that businesses are going to flee social media? I don't think they will. I, I think businesses are still going to be. Yeah, for the most we're, part. Unfortunately, we're, we're depending on we're stuck, it. We're stuck with it, yeah. Yeah, we don't have another. There's not another alternative. And that's, even, that's why on my personal page, I'll like rail against whatever I want to yell at or whatever. But on my business page, it's like, you know, congratulations to so-and-so who won this weekend, you know. You do, but, <laughs> you do realize that this podcast is on our business page, though. Yeah, but I mean, still. <laughs> we started this off as like, you know, screw you. We're sitting here locked down. We've got nothing better to do. So we're yeah, gonna, we like, did. That, know, was, that was how this rail started. Rail against Cooper and everybody else. So. Yeah, I think the, the bigger issue is whether we have racing at all, um, whether our, we're legislated out of uh, business, um, out, of, out of the ability to do what we love and the lifestyle that we, that we all share. 
I think that's a far greater danger than sponsors. Um, it doesn't matter whether we well, wasn't whether that... we whether we like something or don't like something. If it's a tool, doesn't matter if I like a hammer or a screwdriver better, or if I hate one or the other. If that's the tool that I need to get the job done, that's the tool I need to get the job. Wasn't done. there a thing back uh, with Obama's dumbass where they were like trying to push something through to where it was like some sort of stupid emissions bullshit or something where like pretty much like a guy with a 76 Camaro street stock, his car would now be illegal to even have it on the racetrack because it was some emissions bullshit. You remember something like that? It was like some weird thing. Mm -mm. We talked about it years ago. Yeah. I forgot about what it, what is that actually about? I don't know. But it was like some weird shit like that. I, I kind of foresee that coming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Wade says, I see a lot of Ford engines, late models, and Tony Stewart has them in his sprint cars now. Ford offers a crate. Have you heard of any series of tracks allowing them? They're aluminum headed, so it would be against a 604. Okay, oh, I can actually speak to this. Okay. Because when I started Crate Insider back in 2014, I picked up the phone and I called Ford. Because to, to me, a crate engine was a crate engine. I really didn't have any affinity towards one or the other. Um, truthfully, Ford looked at my website. They said, yeah, it looks a little co light on content. I don't think we'd be interested. So that's why I don't cover Fords. And then, you know, moving forward, yes, there's some Fords in asphalt, but I haven't seen but like one racetrack that has them on dirt. Yeah, there's there's several uh, asphalt series that allow them uh, yeah. to compete with the GM. They run a Dodge, too, I think. Yeah, usually. I think there's a Dodge one, maybe, too. Mm -hmm. so I, I mean, Ford and the Chevy are two most prominent. But, yeah, there's like... But there's a huge horsepower there's like, there's difference. There's like one or two dirt tracks that I know of that allow... Well, the but Ford. there's a huge difference in horsepower between... It's, I think it's the 347 Junior versus the 604. And it's like, what is it, 50 or 100 horsepower difference? Uh, it's quite a bit... I don't remember. It's a lot, though. It's, 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 it's a lot of horsepower, but, I mean, the torque difference, it goes the other way. So, it's like, I know guys, a lot of guys that run, you know, asphalt stuff where they can run both. They'll run like the Ford motor on momentum, high speed tracks, and then they'll run the the GM motor on like you know short stop and go places. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. So for the crates until series adopted, which is not really super likely. I mean, unless I, something changes. Um, and the thing is, and Ford, the Ford, and the Ford in comparison isn't isn't you know cost effective as compared to the GM. Well, and you run into, you don't have any approved engine builders for it, nor will you, because Ford does all of that in-house, and they're far more interested in drag racing than they are in circle track. So, yeah, I would say all of that. Uh, okay. Steve says, do they make an oil primer um, like an Oberg to prime the motor with a drill instead of using the starter? Um, I'm assuming that's for the 525. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Peterson makes one, actually. And uh, it's a remote uh, oil filter. Uh, adapter so you got your filter mounted on there and then it's got a priming uh, spud that you can actually uh, spin the spin that on the priming spud and it'll prime the engine before you start it yeah okay so van says um so we were talking about the 604 and whether it'd be uh worth it to rebuild for mm. um for something he says yes we can use any heads crank rods and pistons are the blocks are the blocks worth reusing and building a good power plant with it depends on what you're considering good. I mean, we're talking, we're st we still have, you know, stock blocks, stock everything. I mean, the stock blocks, I mean, over the years, I mean, if you're trying to make 600 plus horsepower out of, out of a stock block, I mean, you're going to break number four main web out in a matter of, <laughs> not very long. So it's just, it just honestly depends on what, you, what you're trying to build, how much power you're actually trying to make. Um, I'll, obviously, I'm never going to opt for a stock block if I can use an aftermarket one, and it's legal. Gotcha. Tim says, I don't think Trump is a poster child, but he showed us 535 people control 3.331 million, and 331 million are perfectly fine with it, mm -hmm. no matter how hard they beat their First and Second Amendment chess. Exactly. You're absolutely right. There are I'm alternatives, but the app suppliers and cell platforms have pulled the pugs on them. Yeah, I mean, that's like the parlor situation. Yeah. I mean, I thought it had some promise. It's As a marketing platform, not so much, because it's not really an advertise. Any of the advertisements I've seen on there are just stupid. It's like so pseudo it's, Twitter or some shit, isn't it? It's, it's kind of like Twitter. Um, it's, it's I would say it's kind of like Twitter, but at yeah. least you don't have to worry about it. It's not an algorithm, so it's more time-based. Mm -hmm. And I think I would actually like to see more of that, yeah. um, doing that. 
Um, Sean says Ford sucks, Kate. <laughs> Your dad would not agree. No, yeah, I don't really care. I mean, I just, I know, I just go ahead and tell the story. It is what it is. Uh, Brian says, yes, alternate, altering the emissions systems would be illegal. Um, Sepal, SEMA helped SEMA. tabling the bill. Yeah, I completely, mm -hmm. yeah, SEMA absolutely did the RPM yep. Act and put that all together, you know, as a lobbying organization. I'm not always a fan of lobbying no. but i would say a lot of times our congress people and senators don't have any idea of you know the different segments you know so there's there's a time and place for lobbying and so but i don't like this where the mm -hmm. lobbyists really own all of the everything um but it's going to be do nothing mcconnell that it's it, it, as far as i'm concerned it rests on his shoulders yeah and and you know somebody's going to have to work their freaking ass off to get my vote ever ever again if I even ever vote again, I don't even. Know. I'm, I'm going to re-register as an independent. Honestly, I'm registered as an independent. I know you are. Yeah, which you know what? What makes it nice is you can vote in whatever primary you want. Oh, I know. <laughs> Here in North Carolina, anyway. Um, yeah, and, and Tim says I usually watch in silence, but great to cop topics today. Tim, I'm so glad you yeah. joined the conversation. You know, because with you having your business in the carting, you know, we're 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 all connected in this racing world. Uh, every one of us. And I always look at any kind of decision and how it has what I really get frustrated with with politicians is that they don't understand the law of unintended consequences, that when you change one thing over here, that it, it you OK, you're trying to fix this problem, but it ends up being, you know, like the kid with the thumbs in the in the in the dam and you start looking at what's going on. An equal equal and opposite reaction. Yeah. You know, what, <laughs> what will be really interesting, I think, to watch is going to be the real estate market. That's going to be fascinating to watch. Uh, really, really fascinating because of some of the decisions that have been that have You'll been probably made. see a bubble burst in about three years. Yeah, I don't think it's going to come in 2021. No. Uh, I think no, because we're still riding Trump economy right now. Well, we're riding that, plus you still have foreclosure, forbearance, and the forbearance on that. So I, I think it's got a ways, but there's going to be um, an interesting correction that's so, going to happen. So, one, like, all right, so if you're a renter... Uh -huh. And you can't pay rent, okay, because you're because COVID, right? Right, and then you're the owner of the rental property, and you can't pay your mortgage because COVID. Well, because your renters aren't paying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. When's all this shit going to come crashing down? Yeah, I don't know. Because at some point it was supposed to be like once that renting, it, like I pay my rent, so I'm not going to ever have to worry about this, but. From what I understood, it was like almost like the whole the whole nut came came due as soon as this forbearance thing went away, right. which doesn't work. Which they extended it, it through well, whatever, it was, whatever that stupid goddamn bill is that you passed. It's going to be extended oh, I, through. I don't or even. Whatever. I mean, I, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not. I, I'm so angry about. And that. the good news is Pakistan is now going to have like what is it gender, gender studies? Gender studies? That, that's really awesome. I mean, I I have a hard time understanding that when people no longer have brothers or sisters or mothers or fathers. Right. I didn't know that there were any genders since that's been taken out of Congress. So oh, yeah. why do we have gender studies? Do, do women exist in Pakistan, but they don't exist in the United States? Yeah. I'm, I'm so confused right now with the politicians that we have. Oh, I know. So confused. Well, just wait. It's going to get fucking better. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> wait, there's more. <laughs> This shit's going to get really, really <laughs> freaking exciting. Oh, you know, I don't know. Um, I hope they get every single <laughs> thing that they want. And... Um, and, I hope every and, I hope every single person that voted Democrat loses their fucking job. That's what I hope. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. And, and I hope we can continue to be scrappy. I hope we can continue to be creative, um, and that we can somehow either make the changes that we need to make in order to adapt. I mean, to, to me, about twenty twenty was all about adapting. You, 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 and I will adapt. I will adapt. You, you, and I, and anybody else out out there with any kind of savvy business. Smarts is going to adapt. There's plenty of ways to adapt. Um, I'm not so more, much worried about me and you. I'm more worried about, I don't know, the guy down the road who works at the recycling center. Yeah, which we may how's not he have. Gonna, how's he going to adapt? Yeah. You know, the guy down the road who works at, you know, the local gas station. How's he going to adapt? He's not. Mm -hmm. He's fucked. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Steve says they can send me those millions for gender studies. My my answer is look in your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> One would think that would be just dead obvious. 
Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think it has something to do with um, trying to, you know, I, I here's the thing. I, I know I can't make it through a sentence today. Whatever Don't your, say anything controversial. I know. Whatever <laughs> your religious beliefs and culture is, <laughs> I respect it on the merits of it's your culture and your gender. I, or your um, religion, whatever yeah, your, your deal is. I respect that you can do any of those things that you want to do. Just don't try to force it upon me. Right. But I think, aren't we just setting ourselves up for, for failure and another country that hates us? If we bring, what we're trying to bring to Pakistan, I will bet you, is, oh no, women are... Um, Unable to start live video. Um, women are, I'm just going to keep going on, on audio here, but women are, you know, should get educated mm -hmm. and there's going to put that onto the, the, the public. And I, and I think that's wrong. Yeah. I think that's wrong. So I'm not sure what happened here. So we were having trouble. I guess it took shit. Either that or we've just been censored. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. But, uh, it, says, it still says live video. It says end live video. It's still going. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. But there's know. having trouble playing it, I guess. Um, not really sure. So anyway, yet. we'll keep Does going. Does it show up on there? Yeah, it's 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 spinning circle. So. Spinning wheel of death. Anyway, we'll keep going on the podcast here. But it's probably a good time to wrap it up anyway, yeah. and uh, and just thank everyone for being here. Thank you for being part of the show. You can catch us on the audio side. You can catch us at racinginsiderspodcast.com. dot com, and you can pick it up there. Or if you would like to watch the video, you can find us over on YouTube, and that is going to be the Crate Insider YouTube channel. So uh, I think it's actually Crate Insider Tech. I think is what we mm -hmm. what we call that one. But uh, find us on YouTube. And I want to thank everybody for watching again. Happy New Year! I think we talked about that last week, Probably. but. Uh, you know, thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the show. And we'll plan to be back next week for the Racing Insiders podcast and the Unsealed show. Talk to you guys later. Bye.